Many thanks to Jerb, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, and that one random for making this video possible. Daisy 1.13 has just introduced different types of infected that become more difficult the more you progress through the game. So in this video, we're going to look at the different stats behind these 10 variations of infected to find exactly what makes them different and go over the strengths and weaknesses of the different types. From what I've seen during my testing and looking at the game files, there are 10 variations of infected now. These are low tier, regular, specialist, runner, police and fire, heavy police, special police, military, screamer, and heavy military. In patch 1.12, all infected had the exact same health, 100, but in this patch, the low tier infected type has 85 health. They also inflict less damage than last patch, making them easier to deal with, but will still knock you unconscious in 8 hits if you're not careful. Low tier zombies only spawn in towns that fresh spawn spawn and that are on the coast, so Cherno, Electro, Kami and Berezino for example. The regular infected type is similar to the 1.12 infected in that they have 100 health, but they inflict 50% more shock damage than their low tier counterparts. This type of infected only spawns away from fresh spawn towns that are on the coast, for example Novo, Gorka or Kamenka, meaning that you won't ever see a low tier zombie next to a regular zombie in the same town. So the further you go inland, the more likely you are to see regular infected types compared to low tier infected types. What I'm calling the specialist infected type is essentially the same as the regular type in terms of its stats, but spawns in specific locations, such as medical staff spawning in a hospital and industrial staff spawning in industrial areas. Now the reason I've separated these from the regular infected group is that the industrial specialist, for example, can spawn in the industrial area in Cherno, which means infected that are just as strong as regular infected can spawn in fresh spawn towns unlike regular infected. This means low tier infected will be mixed with specialist infected. Here is a list of all these specialist types that I could find. Paramedics, doctors, nurses, priests, industrial workers, prisoners, and this one with a leather jacket on I'm calling Negan. Now the main reason you're going to go down on the coast due to infected is through shock damage and specialists do 50% more shock damage than their low tier counterparts, so be careful on the coast when you see specialists. Next we have possibly the most unique type of infected, the runner. These do the same damage as low tier infected but have just 50 health. Now the reason they're called runners is because they run pretty much any time they're moving, they're running, which makes it sound like a player is nearby if you can't see them. However, the biggest reason runners are a threat in this patch is their ability to run forever. They don't stop sprinting, which means it's impossible to run away from these infected types. They have no stamina, it would seem. They don't run out of breath. Other infected do have stamina and they do run out of breath which makes them run slower and as you can see here this infected is staying with me all the way across this field. These runners spawn in any residential town as long as it's a residential area they will spawn there it doesn't matter if it's a coast or inland wherever they will spawn. You can identify runners obviously for their running but they have only two models at the moment. This is the female version and this is the male version. The colour of the clothes may change but the faces of these models do not so you can identify them this way. They have only 50 health so they're easy to take down. This means that if you are being chased by a runner it's best to kill them because they're easy to kill because they won't ever give up on chasing you. Next up is the police and fire variant of infected which are essentially identical to the specialist type in that they have the same health and they spawn in building specific locations meaning that police and firefighters can spawn in fresh spawn towns too however compared to specialist police and firefighters do 33% more health damage and have a higher chance to make you bleed. Also firefighters sometimes spawn with helmets on which reduces damage to their heads significantly. Speaking of which, the next variant is police again, but what's called heavy police. This variant is exactly the same as a standard police variant, they simply have a police vest on, which will reduce damage from guns and melee weapons a very large amount, so go for headshots when fighting this type of infected. Now I'm not sure if the next variant is intended or not, but it's what I'm calling the special police or the police that wear this RL clothing. They're basically the same as a police variant again, but take 28% less melee weapon damage, which doesn't really make a difference, but nonetheless it is different to the other police variant. 
All military infected have had their health increased in this patch by 15, so they all have 115 health now. However, they do the same damage as the police and the firefighters, and they also have the same chance to make you bleed. So one health and 15 shock damage. Be aware that if an infected hits you in the head, it will do 10 times more health damage, but it's kind of rare that they hit you in the head. But the amount of shock damage they do won't change, so it'll always be 15 shock damage wherever they hit you for police, firefighters or military. A military variant with the exact same stats as a regular military is what I'm calling the Screamer variant because in this patch the distance at which infected get attracted by another infected scream has been dramatically reduced. As you can see here, this one in front is screaming and this one behind just does not care. When this military screamer screams, the initial scream will bring all infected in a roughly 100 meter radius to the location where the scream took place. So if one screams at any of the tent areas across the map, you can be sure that all the infected in the area will be running to the location where the scream took place. If you have a good ear, you can hear a little bit of difference in the scream, but it's not much of a difference. I believe there should be a much bigger difference here. And while this type is quite rare, it's one of the most dangerous infected types but it doesn't do any more damage or have any more health than the other military variants. The last type of infected is what's called the military heavy, which also is rare and hasn't got any stats that are different from military variants, but does have a plate carrier equipped. Now, if you watched my most recent video about how powerful the plate carrier is, if you haven't, here it is, you will know that this infected is the hardest to kill by a very long shot because three SVD shots to kill one is necessary instead of one, and six AK-101 shots is necessary to kill one instead of two. So you could say that they're three times harder to kill. However, most of these heavy types will not come with a helmet on, so you can just shoot them in the head and it's very easy to bypass, and then you can just steal the plate carrier for yourself. Note that on 1.13 it is still possible to loot the plate carrier. For example, I found one at a heli crash site recently, and none of the 10 infected types I've mentioned in this video are immune to this stealth kill that they added recently. In addition, here is a list of the changes I haven't mentioned in this video that will be coming with Infected in patch 1.13. A few of these changes make Infected easier, yes, but some Infected have damage and health buffs now and seem to hit you easier based on my own experience. Either way, I'd say it's clear that the Daisy devs are tweaking Infected right now, along with trying out different Infected types that I went over in this video. These 10 types of infected are only on experimental 1.13 for now, which probably means that the devs are looking for feedback on the huge amount of changes they've made to infected this patch. So do you believe infected should remain unchanged like in 1.12? Do you believe they're fine as they are? Do you believe that there should be more variety between the infected types? Or maybe you even have an idea for a new infected type. Comment below to have your say. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.